And in this month's episode, I am going to attempt, I'm going to attempt, Okay, so in this month's episode, I am going to attempt to make the Playdate, um, the Playdate cardigan by Ten Can Knits. Just looking at the pattern right here. Um, and I'll just tell you a little bit about the pattern. It calls for fingering weight yarn. And um, yeah, uh, I bought this pattern. I'm pretty sure you buy it even though Tim Can Knits has some really amazing free patterns. So I made their rye sock light. It's like my first sock. <laughs> so yeah, so I like them. I like Tim Can Knits. Um, so yeah, so the like blurb on this is like, babies always need a classic cardigan in their wardrobe. They can wear it over a button down onesie or a semi formal affair or throw it over a t-shirt for a very casual tea party with friends. And they're right. Every child needs a cardigan with some kind of pockets. And the reason I picked this pattern was because Tin Can Knits is very beginner friendly. And I have already looked through the pattern and sort of like tried to make sure that I got all the understood all the things and everything. So this is my first cardigan. And um, I am starting off with the toddler size for my daughter. And then I'm going to move up for the older version for my son. Another thing I love about Tin Can Knits is that there's a size zero to three months to 4XL. So a lot of inclusivity. For my daughter's size, it calls for 650 yards of fingering weight yarn, which is in here, <laughs> right here. And I went with um, palette from uh, Knit Picks. So I got this green, let me see if I can figure out the color. It's called the color C763, but it's sort of like a forest, forest greeny color, very kind of dark, but wonderful. Both children are getting this color. So how am I making the pattern more specific to each child? So I asked them to pick out a color for their pockets. So these pockets are, um, I don't know what they're called. I don't know if they're called set in pockets or side, they're not side pockets, but at any rate, one inside of the pocket will look like this for my daughter. And the other inside is a different color for my son. So now they won't pick up each other's sweaters cardigans and start fighting you know <laughs> I already have um I've done a gauge swatch and um although the pattern called for hold on 
The pattern called for a gauge of 24 stitches um, over 36 rows, and that was supposed to be in a size US 5. We all know I'm a loose knitter, so I had to go down to a size 2 to get that. And then it also gives us a smaller size needle to do the ribbing, um, but I'm just going to do the ribbing in the regular size uh, needle because it's already too little. <laughs> it's already very little. So. I've knitted what I need to knit and I'm gonna bind off these stitches and then I'm going to start on the next pocket and just keep going <laughs> and then work on the back of this pocket um, after I have a few more inches on here so okay so today is I think August 19th it's Saturday in the morning and I am on a different part of this sweater. So I am, I switched to some double pointed needles and I'm starting on the left front, but I have way more stitches over here than I have here and this number is correct and this number is wrong. So what I need to do <laughs> is um, rip back down, find whatever number I have starting with before I bound off these stitches. And then, um, yeah, I have the window open. And then, um, so you can hear the, I, they're not locusts. They're not, they're not Katie dids. I can't, I don't remember their name, but anyway. So I'm going to rip down to where I bound off. Should be down to here. And then figure out what number I have. And then do rapid decreases so that it matches on the other side. And the front, left front, right front, and back, I hope to finish this weekend, which is very ambitious because the weekend only has two days. Okay, so I have finished the body. I'd like to show it to you. It's taking longer than I expected, but this is fingering weight yarn. So for the body, 
Read this. It's so nice. Okay, so here's my mistakes. I guess in one row I kind of knit or something. I caught this after I did the three needle bind off. I did a three needle bind off at the top and I am just really confused. Never mind the outside. It's it's uh, nice weather. Weather is super duper nice. Nice enough to just not put the air on and I don't like the air anyway. But it, this side's fine. Talk about three needle bind off is a, is a cool technique. I like it. So now today I put my markers in. I think for this size, I need to do 30 stitches on each side of the seam, meaning this seam, 30 stitches here to the center and 30 stitches here to the center. So I've divided that up into four sections or quadrants. Anyway, um, so 15, 15, 15, 15. I think that will be an easier way for me to do it. Okay, so I have started with the sleeve and I'm looking at the gauge and they're completely not the same. So I'm debating on whether to go up a needle size to do the sleeves because I don't like the way this is coming out. So I think I might rip back before I go any further and go up a needle size so that I can have some sort of continuity. Because this was knitted flat, so back and forth, and this is in the round, and my gauge is much tighter. So. Uh, we're in uh, almost Dickerson, Tuscarora. I think we're in Tuscarora. That's, like, that's a mile away from Yeah. We're going to Point of Rocks. But we're almost there. But here's a mama wanted to make a stop and see the aqueduct, and I think it's a great idea. Is there more? No, but check this out. I'm not at home, but I wanted to, and I'm not at a hotel. I'm just taking some some alone time today. Um, I finished the play date cardigan a week ago, blocked it, woven all the ends, and are you ready to see it? This is the Playdate cardigan by Tin Can Knits, all finished up. <laughs> um, I'm going to just show you as much as I can and explain all the little things that I did. So, um, the, these, well, I won't start with the buttons. 
So, um, just to recap, it is made from the bottom hem up. You separate for the um, front panel and the back panel and also the back. And then you seam at the top. I did a three needle bind off because I thought it had just a little bit more structure. And let me see if I can show you. You see just a little bit more structure than just, I don't know. I think I just thought a three needle bind off was cool. This is my first time doing it. It looks very nice. You'll see on the other side that there's like this garter ridge. I think I started purling at some point, but I didn't see it until after I had seamed it. So there's that. After you do the seam at the top, you uh, pick up stitches um, and knit the arms. Hopefully you can see that there's not much difference between this fabric and that fabric. It kind of looks the same. Um, I knit this, I knit the cardigan flat, so that means I knit one side, I purled the other. Um, I knit that in a US 3, a US 2. I used a US 2 for this. When I came to the sleeve, I picked up in a US 2 and I thought, oh, I'll be able to um, totally do this. But as I started going around, the gauge was so much tighter that I switched to a US 3. So US 2 on the body, US 3, and then US 2 for the cuff. For both cuffs, I did my best to do a tubular bind off and um, I did it wrong on both sides. And you live, you learn, okay? The pockets are very cute. Here, let me zoom out. Okay, the pockets are super duper cute. You see that I had a little mistake. I came a little bit too far over on one side and this side's pretty good but at the but in the end after blocking it wasn't so much of a big deal when i seamed and i kind of went a little bit overboard um so that's not bad and then you see that it's like super duper cute boom i love it so after you do all the sleeves and everything you pick up for the button band I did a three stitch buttonhole, but I needed to do a four. So when you put this in, it's very tight. <laughs> I don't know how to fix that, but it does still button and it comes off just fine. It's no big deal. These are super cute. These are very, very different from what I've ever done. So basically, the back, you see that little, let's see if I can scoot in. If you see that little yellow piece, there's on, they're on two sides. You can pop out this colorful blue and uh, yellow, pop it out, sew the buttons in, pop it back on. And the buttons have not come off yet and I don't even feel them getting loose. Okay, it just started raining with like a mm, thunder and lightning. So I'm gonna wrap up very quickly. Uh, what else can I say about this pattern? I enjoyed making it. I recommend it to anybody. I love Tin Can Knits patterns. I love how it's such a basic pattern, but it's so customizable. And that way I can do different techniques or add different colors. I just think they're amazing. I just love their patterns so much. They've really taken my knitting like up a notch. And so I have nothing but nice things to say. Very accessible pattern. This is your cue to go out there and make something that you're afraid of making, to do something that you didn't think you could do. Because for a very long time, I was like, I can't do anything, I can't. And I've been saying that about a lot of stuff. Like I've just got like this sort of kind of crisis of confidence a little bit where I'm just like, I don't know, I don't know. But you can, you totally can. And you totally should. And that's that's my episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you liked the episode, please hit like and subscribe if you'd like to join me. I come here twice a month and I just talk about whatever's on my mind with creative, knitting, crochet, spinning, weaving, whatever's on my mind. I'm always bad at the end, but uh, I have to stop because it is raining. So, 
happy making and I'll see you next time.